Hey cruisers, welcome back to another cruise update from Sun Princess. It is Wednesday and this is actually the day we were supposed to be disembarking Sun Princess to fly home. Uh, but as many of you know, if you've watched my previous videos or if you've been watching the news, you know that we uh, were headed back to Florida just about the time Hurricane Milton was coming in and getting ready to hit the west coast of Florida. I think it's supposed to actually make landfall tonight. And uh, of course, um, I know I've been reading the comments on my previous video and I think a couple people got a little bent out of shape because they're basically saying, well, you're stuck on a luxury cruise ship while there's millions of people in Florida who are, you know, don't know if they're going to have a home or what's going to happen over the next few days and nothing I say in these videos is intended to minimize the concern over that certainly um, thoughts and prayers to everybody in Florida uh, North Carolina Georgia Tennessee all the states that were affected by Helene and uh, of course uh, everybody that's going to probably be affected by this Hurricane Milton so I just want to get that out of the way up front that in no way do our concerns over this cruise or commentary on this cruise intend to minimize the concern over that. Now let me update you on what we do know. Uh, we have not heard anything yet from Easy Air. Uh, we haven't had a, no new uh, reservations for flights yet that I've noticed. I have been checking the American Airlines website and I did notice that our flight this morning was removed from the app or from our from our account so apparently Princess has canceled our reservation on that flight so that tells me they are doing something and I'm sure they're working on getting people rebooked they may have to wait until they know for sure what time the ship's going to be docking we haven't heard that yet the captain has not made any announcement that specifies when Sun Princess will actually be docking either late tomorrow night, early Friday morning, late Friday morning. We just don't know yet. And it's probably because they don't know the path of the hurricane at this point, the strength, what it's going to be like in Fort Lauderdale at that point. That's just my guess. Now, we did get a sheet last night um, on our bed entitled uh, FAQ's Sun Princess Itinerary Change. I'll just read it real quick in case you're not on board the ship. If you're on the ship, you've already seen this. We hope you're having a pleasant time on board as shared in recent announcement from the captain. Changes in weather conditions and directives from local authorities have impacted our ability to dock at our scheduled port. We understand that this may raise questions regarding your travel plans and the remaining days of your cruise. To help address your concerns, we've compiled responses to the most frequently asked questions. And I'll just flip over. And they do. They list about eight different questions here. Uh, is there any possibility of reaching Fort Lauderdale before October the 11th, which is Friday? And they say, unfortunately, no, that the port is closed for the next couple of days. Uh, second is, is it certain the ship will dock in Fort Lauderdale on October the 11th? And the answer is, this will depend on evolving weather conditions. So they really don't know for sure yet. I think that's the anticipation that October the 11th, but nothing's in, nothing's been firmed up. Three, if I booked my original flight through Easy Air, will Princess change my flight? The answer is yes. Easy Air will rebook flights for guests who originally booked through Princess at no additional cost. Updated flight details will be communicated in the coming days, either via, via letters delivered to your stateroom or by email. That's good news. That answers 90% of people's questions right there. And number four, will my Princess Plus or Premier package be extended until disembarkation? The answer is yes. I answered that in yesterday's video because I asked guest services that question. Will I be charged for crew appreciation, in other words, gratuities, until disembarkation? And the answer is no. Guests will not incur additional 
crew appreciation charges. Now, Ricky and I have decided we were anyway, we were going to give our stateroom attendant uh, a little bit extra anyway. So uh, people will do what they're going to do. Uh, number six, can I cancel my transfer to Miami or Fort Lauderdale Airport for October 11th? And yes, and they say yes, and you can obtain a, a credit for that. Uh, number seven, where can I get assistance to change or reconfirm independent travel arrangements? Not made through Easy Air. In addition to the guest services desk, a help desk will be set up in the landing area, deck four midship, on October the 8th from 10 to 5. Please feel free to visit either location for further assistance. And then it says, how do I access complimentary internet offered by the ship? And it just explains how to connect to the internet. So even if you did not have a Wi-Fi package, uh, they are providing free Wi-Fi for people over the next couple of days so that they can make travel arrangements. Another nice thing that Princess has done. Now, I did go to guest services yesterday morning because I had to get Ricky's uh, medallion replaced. Hers also stopped working. And when I went down there, there must have been 20 or 25 people in line waiting to get to guest services. And I want to take this opportunity uh, to just give a hats off to the guest services staff on board Sun Princess because what they would do is they would actually come out into the elevator lobby area where people were standing in line and they would help people if they could remotely without them having to go up to a desk. So they had apparently put on some additional guest services staff. There must have been I know I counted at least five or six, and there may have been more guest service staff people there helping people. So they were really, I thought, doing over and above uh, just a great job of helping people. I overheard some people's questions and then the guest service staff's answers. That answered a couple of my questions, so I didn't even have to ask those questions. And when I told them I needed a new medallion, they took it back and got it taken care of right away. So I wasn't in line more than four or five minutes. Very, very fast, good service. And uh, they're doing their best to deal with a unfortunate situation all the way around. I also not sure if I mentioned that yesterday we had a medical evacuation. Uh, the captain brought the ship within about five miles of Fort Lauderdale. We could actually see Fort Lauderdale clearly from our balcony. The helicopter, a U.S. Coast Guard helicopter came out and uh, evacuated a critically ill individual uh, from the ship, lifted him you know, up into the uh, helicopter and transport them to a facility on shore. That was reported in the news. I saw a couple of news reports and they made it sound like because of the hurricane, the you know, they were having to airlift people off the ship to, get to safety or something. And that was not the case. It was one critically ill person. Uh, there have been four or five of these on board on this cruise, unfortunately. Uh, two additional two additional people who were critically ill were taken off the ship yesterday by boat and transported back to either Miami or Fort Lauderdale, I'm not sure which. Uh, once they were off the ship, the ship, the captain rerouted the ship down to the old Bahama Channel, and I think now we're off the coast of Cuba. In fact, I think in the distance from our balcony, we can actually see the shoreline of Cuba. Seas are very calm today. We're in a sunny, beautiful, you know, clear area with no no sea mo no movement at all on the ship. It's very calm. We're just waiting things out right now. So, like I said, AA canceled our flight. Uh, I would also like to tell you that we do a daily blog where we write with photos what we did each day. And if you want to check out our daily blog, please go to cruisereport.com. You'll see it. It's right there on the homepage because Sun Princess is the first thing that comes up right now. So check out our daily blog. Don't forget to check us out on social media too because I'm posting throughout the day on Instagram and Facebook. And I will update as things go on. We had dinner last night again at Sabatini's. This was our second time. It's one of our favorite specialty restaurants on board. We had a very good experience there a few nights ago, so we got another reservation to go last night. 
Uh, it was also very good. We tried a couple of new things we'd never had before. And one, one or two of them were really good. One or two of them, I think we should have stuck with what we had the first time, but that's all in our daily blog still. Still, Sabatini's probably one of our favorite experiences on board Sun Princess on this cruise. I'm putting together a lot of notes to talk to you about this ship and about our overall experience. But uh, somebody asked me in uh, a comment on my last video, could I do a video on Spellbound? And I think I did refer to it in one of my videos, and I think I referred to it in, I know I talked about it in one of our blogs. Unfortunately, they don't allow you to video anything in Spellbound. Now, we have some pictures of our meal that we had before we went into the spellbound room but as soon as the magic part of the show begins they ask you to not uh, take photos or video of anything so unfortunately you're probably not going to see a lot of videos of Spellbound. It was very good, though, I will say. I'm glad we did it. I do think it's worth the price. It's not an inexpensive experience. I think it's $149 a person. Overall, I think it was one of the most interesting things we've done on Sun Princess, and I think we, Ricky and I both would highly recommend Spellbound. Um, that's basically everything right now. If we have any more updated information, I'll be glad to uh, do another video. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section down below. Don't forget, if you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell, because that way YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. And most importantly, if you enjoyed this video, got anything out of it, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. That really does help our YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining me. Have a great day, and until I see you next time, Smooth sailing.